after years of not being able to get rid of each other. The stroke had to rock up and ruin everything. Sam was in bed, packed full of dysphagia and dysphagia. Only things that managed to shut her up, Chris said, bittersweetly. They're both scared. Their words aren't there, but their eyes, their eyes are screaming out, you better not give up on me. I'm here for the long haul. I'm there to discuss the possibility of a peg being fitted. They never stop holding hands. A few weeks later, I had a chance to speak to Chris again. She talked of first times and farewells and fights unfinished, but the heroic stories of their street were where it clicked. Stories of rickety raggedy carts of grey wood and worn blue rope. Past the tree with leaves like helicopters they hurtled, her and her lap between grass-stained knees. Past streets where people stared or called it, you know, just kids stuff. She said that Sam had always been the strongest person she ever knew. And Chris had been all in for the ride since then. She'd seen Norwich drown and dry out since then and bounced from wanderlust and wonder to what had weariness and back. She talked about some years they'd play sailors on choppy seas, desperately clinging to bedsheet sails and Ikea by pine masts, trying to stay afloat. But the drama and the storms were the past. And they'd been sailing on sunny days ever since. Or love drunk when they danced making drunk love in bed, carefree and kicking before the problems in her head. It changes your life completely, this disease, Sam said, whispered. Sam had the peg fitted. And we all knew she'd have said something dry and witty if she could. But she's had to have so much suction, it's almost like she's drowning in herself. Chris never wavered while Sam withered away, but I could see in her eyes that this skin and bones frame hurt her. They would fight it, surrounded by elderly men and women whose minds had wandered away from them. So don't drug me up and make me drowsy. Don't make my thoughts all blurred and lousy, make good conversation, I will dance above this bed. Don't treat me like a patient, but a person instead. We sailed this ragged boat over so many choppy seas, before fate makes a martyr of me, we both know that happy, happy is the only way to be. Even on a nice sunny day when you're drowning. The worst bit about being widowed is you've got nobody left to blame. Chris talks about losing Sam as if she were the lucky coin down the side of a sofa. She'd be back around, you know. And the days got dark outside. But Chris talked, all smiles and distant stares, of how they rode that ship to brighter times. Through summers, all blazing faces, the autumns of patchwork pavement. And she's happy. In this, her winter of lost spouses, waiting for a new spring.